Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang changing decimals to percent and percent to decimals. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So ito ang pinakamadaling process kapag mag-change tayo ng decimal to percent or percent to decimal. Uh, dito ay magmumove lang tayo ng decimal point. From left to right or right to left. So, kapag mag-change tayo ng decimal to percent, move lang natin yung decimal point from left to right. Kapag percent to decimal naman, move lang natin yung decimal point from right to left. So, para may illustrate to, let's solve some examples. So, for the first example, we have change 0.7682%. So, dahil uh, decimal to percent tayo, move natin yung decimal point from left to right ng two decimal places. So, therefore, meron tayong 1, 2. So, magiging 76.8 na siya. And then, lalagyan lang natin ng percent sign sa dulo. So, yun ang sagot natin. Therefore, 0 0.768 is equal to 76.8%. So, madali lang, di ba? So, another example. This time, change 1.52 to percent. So, decimal to percent then So, copy muna natin. And then, move natin yung decimal point from left to right ng two decimal places. So, we have 1, 2. Therefore, equal na siya sa 152. Then, lastly, put lang tayo ng percent sign sa dulo. So, therefore, 1.52 is equal to 152%. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. So, change 0.072%. Okay, decimal to percent. So, copy natin yung given. 0.07. So, move natin yung decimal point from left to right ng dalawang beses. So, we have 1, 2. So, therefore... Equal na lang siya sa 7. And then, lagyan natin ng percent symbol sa dulo. So, therefore, our final answer is 7%. Okay. Next example. Change 0.42%. Okay, decimal to percent ulit. So, we have 0 0.4. Then, move natin yung decimal point. Two decimal places from left to right. So, we have 1, 2. Okay, napansin nyo, meron tayong naging space na walang number. So, ito yon So, pag ganun, pwede mo, uh, lalagyan lang natin siya ng 0 palagi. So, we have 40. So, yung 0, ito yung para sa walang number na place na to. So, therefore, our final answer is 40%. So, 0 0.4 is equal to 40%. Okay, another example. Change 1 to percent. Okay, this time wala tayong uh, decimal but just a whole number. So, we have 1. Pero alam natin na kapag whole number, ang decimal point nila ay nasa dulo. So, nandito. So, ganun natin gagawin natin. Move natin yung decimal point na to ng 2 decimal places papunta sa kanan. So, we have 1, 2. Okay, so dahil nga may missing add. Uh, Place values tayo na dalawa, lalagyan lang natin sila ng 0. So, we have 100 0, 0, or 100%. So, therefore, 1 is equal to 100%. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. Change 0.00052%. Okay, same procedure, 0 0.005%. Move natin yung decimal point ng 2 decimal place from left to right. So, therefore, magiging 0 0.05 na siya. And then, lagyan lang natin ng percent symbol sa dulo. So, therefore, our final answer is 0.05%. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. So, we have changed 128% to decimal. So, ngayon, ang... Given naman natin ay mag-change tayo ng percent sa decimal. So, sabi ko nga kapag uh, 
percent to decimal naman, i-move lang natin yung decimal point from right to left ng two decimal places din. Kaso wala tayong decimal point dito. So, we have 128%, diba? Automatic nasa dulo yung decimal point niya. So, equal lang din siya sa 128. So, nandito nga. Then, move natin from right to left ng two decimal places. So, we have 1, 2. Okay. So, therefore, our final answer is 1.28. At wala na yung percent symbol. Kasi naging decimal na nga siya. So, 128% is equal to 1.28. Okay, another example. Change 97.8% to decimal. So, same procedure lang din. So, we have 97.8%. So, this time, yung decimal point ng percent ay nandito. Move natin from right to left ng 2 decimal places. So, we have 1, 2. So, therefore, equal na siya sa 0 0.978. Then, wala na tong percent sign. So, decimal na siya. Which is equal to 0 0.978. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. So, change 0.75% to decimal. Okay. Same procedure. Move natin yung decimal point. Two decimal places from right to left. So, we have 0.75%. Okay, we have 1, 2. So, nandito. So, napansin nyo, nagkaroon siya ng puwang dito. May kulang na, na digit. So, therefore, if you fill natin nyo ng 0. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 0 dito. Therefore, our final answer is 0.0075. And then, wala ng percent symbol. So, 0.75% is equal to 0.0075. Okay, ganun lang kadali mag-change ng decimal to percent or percent to decimal. It's just a matter of moving the decimal point from uh, left to right or right to left. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.